Hello and welcome to the Longevity Learning Lab. Today we're going to take a look at the spark test and what the sparks look like off of some of our different common materials that we run into in the materials industry. So the first one we're going to take a look at is a piece of low carbon steel. Okay, so a piece of low carbon steel has long sparks, long orange sparks, that split way out at the end. Okay, so that's a piece of low carbon steel or a piece of A36 structural steel that we might normally find in a typical fab shop. The next one we're going to look at is a piece of 1095. So this is a carbon steel that has almost 1% carbon in it as opposed to the last piece that had probably less than 0.3% carbon in it. And now we're going to take a look at the spark that comes off of the high carbon steel or the 1095. What you're going to see is a lot shorter spark with much more splitting to the spark itself. So we can see many more splits mid-spark and clear at the end of the spark as well. Much more sparks and shorter. Once again, to oppose the low carbon steel, longer spark, less splitting, high carbon steel, shorter sparks, more splits. But roughly that same orange color. Okay, the next one we're going to move on to is a piece of material that we see typical in a shop. One of it is, is I can help identify it by the weight in my hand, but it's silver in color here and I'm going to touch it to the wheel. and lo and behold I get no spark off of this. So this is a piece of 6061 aluminum. So aluminum doesn't give us any spark at all and I can tell the material generally by its weight. Okay, the next piece I'm going to select is a piece of 316 stainless steel. So I'm going to put the stainless steel here on the wheel and let's take a look at the spark that comes off of it. So the first thing we can see is a lot less sparks than we see on the standard carbon steel and they're not nearly as orange, they're a little bit more yellow or lighter in color. Very long sparks and then the ones that we see have very large splits at the end as opposed to some of the other carbon steel. large splits at the end as opposed to the high carbon steel short sparks many splits many splits and the low carbon steel very different than the piece of stainless steel okay so those are three pieces of steel there, stainless steel, low carbon steel, and high carbon steel. The next one we're going to take a look at, a lot of us can identify just by the color of it. You don't necessarily have to do a spark test to it. A lot of us would identify this as a piece of copper. We put the copper on there, we see some small sparks coming off of there, but that's just pieces of carbon steel that are stuck in the wheel. The copper really doesn't give us much spark off of it at all. So usually we identify the piece of copper is generally going to come from the color of the material. Okay, and I've got one last one here that's kind of an interesting one. So let's take a look at it first and then I'll tell you what it is.
Okay, bright white sparks. Splits at the end. Okay, so what's that material? Well, looks darn near the same color as a piece of stainless steel, but if you could hold it in your hand, you'd figure out it is quite a bit lighter. So the mystery metal with the white sparks, some of us may already know it, this is a piece of titanium. So titanium is one that throws off bright white sparks. So hopefully you had a few minutes to learn something about metals and identifying them with the spark test. If you like what you see, check back here often to see more interesting videos. So thanks again for spending a few minutes with us and we hope you have a great day.